Kardashians really in the public eye have their shit together. They're sucked into a lot of stuff, but show me where they're the one, you know, on stage doing drugs, slurring, like acting crazy. They don't. The Kardashians really are media trained, you know? Yeah, they are now. Yeah. Yeah. They weren't back in the day when they were, you know, doing celebrity boxing matches and appearing at, you know, cupcake stores. Um, but I wish we were there. <laughs> it's a long way from the me too. Me too. I liked those days. Oh my God, I, I liked those. Okay. Wait, last thing I have for you though, this is kind of like going back to Salt Lake. So I don't know if we had closed that, but That's I meant good. to talk about the trailer for the reunion and Jen Shaw, Andy Cohen asking her multiple times, what are your charges? And she goes, I, I don't know what they are. And he goes, one charges for 20 years, one's for 30. You don't know what your charges are. And she's like, no no like it's gonna be and coach and she and she didn't do that just like she didn't do that like i'm really smart i don't want to talk about this so i'm just gonna say i don't know no maybe maybe i mean we're gonna see right you don't think it was okay nope i don't think it's like i'm oh really you want to ask me about this andy bitch i'm gonna tell you i don't know anything about it and therefore there'll be no more nope I, i don't buy it i think she just truly is like i'm on tv what the fuck is the problem like I, I, I don't need to worry about these charges. She is found guilty. I think she's doing two to four years. I mean, there's no way she's doing Nobody does that much time for, unfortunately, like these blue collar crimes. They just don't. They 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 don't. Like she's she's a nonviolent offender. It's, awful it's always that she's like, found- and it's like a country club wherever you go. It's like, that's the thing. It's like, I don't know. It's oh, almost like- it's like Martha Stewart. You're going to a fabulous prison in Connecticut where you're going to like make baskets half the day and work out. Like, I mean, and yeah, it's- It's like you make all this money. You have a chance to hide as much of it as you want. And then you get a slap on the wrist and you go to a country club for two years. I mean, I'm not saying I'm interested in that or go out and do this. I'm just saying like, that doesn't really curtail you from doing it when you've made so much money. Like- Yeah, she doesn't seem concerned. I really feel Jen Shaw doesn't understand the charges. I think that was authentic. I, maybe she's innocent. I mean, maybe she's not worried because she's totally innocent and she can blame it on the partner. I don't know. But I, I think if she's found guilty, she does, I say like a little over two years. That's it. I'm, I'm, I'm sure she'll be sentenced to five and two years suspended for good behavior. And, and then she'll do some community service or whatever. Yeah. I mean, I just, I don't see how, Blue collar crime people do that much. I mean, Bernie Madoff did because he fucked with the wrong people. White collar, sorry. Well, right. Like, look at Teresa. (laughs) Teresa was gone for how long? And I mean, she's moved on in the world and we're fine. And like Jen Shaw, I mean, the show's not waiting for her to come back, but she'll she'll be fine. She'll be fine. Just she'll she'll it's when you get out. I mean, honey, you better not. I mean, if you come out and you commit something else. And now you're, you found another way to keep your lifestyle. Now, I mean, second offense, like you're fucked. You're fucked. Really? Yeah. You're fucked. Maybe she goes, to, maybe she does. Look, maybe she sends to 10. What do I know? But I just, I don't know. I just don't think, I mean, even, I mean, Joe Judice is paying a big price. I mean, he, ha, he's not coming back to this country. That's a big no. price. But, and he did defraud a lot of people. I don't know with all the people pleading guilty except her i mean it i don't know what she's thinking honestly i think she's smart though i mean roll the dice and go to trial you know she's a public figure she people it can go one of two ways you know she may be she may be a heck of an actress and you know she can prove that everybody else has has now pled guilty and she didn't really know maybe she was thought she was partaking in a completely legal um you know I don't know. Medicare, and her Medicare. attorney has moved to block all of the RHOSLC footage. They want it admitted in court. I mean, I don't know what they're going to okay. use, but they want to see it all. And her attorney has, they've come out and made a statement like, you know, there are many things which happen on these shows, which are not real is basically what they've said. And it's a heightened version of oneself and there's drama. Like basically I have to find, everyone needs to Google this statement. It basically was saying like a, some, a lot of what happens on TV is, is false, is like made up and fabricated for, you know, like whatever effect and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. It's going to be really interesting. I'm excited for this finale. I, I really am. It's, there's some good housewives TV right now. I love it. 
There are some housewives TV. You know, I mean, David, I feel like we've covered a lot. That Those were like all my things. Yeah, I'm addicted to Bethany Frankel's TikTok right now. She's giving Kanye and Kim breakdown, you know, advice and, and finance. And I, I really, I feel like that's where Bethany shines. And um, I can't Listen, wait to see. Where- I'd like some finance advice from Bethany, right? I know, I know. You know? Bethany, look, Bethany's one of those ultimate, you know, housewives players too. She, she's done it. Listen, she doesn't post with anyone but Bryn. I think Bryn is her main friend. You know, I said, I do believe that Bethany has no friends except for the fiance and Bryn. Like those are the, you You do not say, I mean, Bethany and Bryn are on a dance floor for two. I mean, there is no one else around. Like the caterer doesn't even want to jump in. You know what I mean? But I don't think Bethany fucking cares. I don't think Bethany wants friends. I think she's thrilled with the fiance. She's writing a book. or she's she, works, she works 24 hours a day. I think she loves business and her daughter and this new fiance. And I don't think she, maybe she has tons of friends. You're probably more of privy to that than I am. No, I think she loves the work and I think she loves money. And I think she loves Bryn. Eh, Yeah. Time will tell if the fiance is still around. I'm not so convinced that that's a lot of love, but no, I, think, I think she loves her life. She's in. I think Bethany got exactly what she wanted in life, and good for I, you. I think she got exactly what she wanted in life, and I mean, for I really do think she's not trying to be mean. She's not trying to be rude. It's like she's over the fucking housewife. She's really not going back. She does not want to go back, and I get it. Why would you want Why to would go you? back what? for drama when you don't need to? Like you don't need the money, and like. It's, isn't it isn't it inspirational isn't it like don't we want some of these women to graduate and just say I don't want anything to do with this yeah the platform launched you absolutely but is anyone here listening the same person they were 10 years ago 20 years ago five years ago it's like good for you that you don't need this no one I think a lot of people don't want to go back and then they have to for the money or like they're desperate for the fame I mean like Good for her for really being over it, you know? I don't I believe that she's desperate for the fame and her show failed and this one and she'll be back. I, no, no, no. No. I think I like, the, I feel the same about Monique Samuels. You know, she's going to be on Love and Marriage from Real Housewives of Potomac. She's now on Love and Marriage on yep. Owns show. I'm excited about that. She seems like another one that she's never going to look back. Like, I think she's going to continue to do reality TV, but it won't be. Um, she got lucky. She yeah, got something and it's paying and it's about, yeah, I don't think she's ever going to go back to housewives. Nope. I think, no, she, and I mean, done. she's said a lot about it. Not that they, that really, they care. I mean, so is Bethany, but Monique has definitely spoken out on this that podcast. Lots of other friends. Right. She's Monique is not like, let me give you an answer because like in my head, I want to kind of go back to Bravo and keep it. No, she doesn't give a fuck. Doesn't Sarah, give a fuck. It has been another amazing, where can everyone find you? Everyone can find me at David Yontef on Instagram at Behind Velvet Rope on Instagram or listen to Behind the Velvet Rope on Spotify, Apple, or anywhere you find podcasts. Oh, I love you, my friend, David. It's always fun to chat with you. Um, well, basically you can find me at the Sarah Frazier show, TikTok, Instagram. Um, I put out new episodes Monday through Wednesday, David and I do a Bravo dish kind of like behind the scenes, but I, I talk a lot of TLC shows. And of course I have like crazy guests on, I'm actually having a woman coming up. She is selling sex toys for the metaverse, David. So now you're going to be able to vibrate your partner in France when you enter the metaverse. Can, can, what a world. You can put on your metaverse glasses and be having metaverse sex with her line of sex toys with a guy in France. Can I just That's tell you, I do not understand how any of the metaverse works. I have put on those goggles before and considering I have Relief Band, which is one of my clients, everyone, you get, I think, 20% off. If you go to the code for Relief Band, no, Relief Band works. It's like, I have motion sickness and Relief, you literally wear this thing